In lesson seven and eight, we're gonna take what we learned and we're gonna make a painting of an apple and a bottle. An apple is basically a sphere with a, a dent in it, and a bottle is basically a series of two cylinders, one on top of the other. And now we're gonna take the lessons we've learned and actually make a painting. So we're about a little more than one third down from the bottom. We are going to set up our tabletop. We're gonna take our vine charcoal and just gently bring it across and set up our tabletop. Now we're gonna start on our wine bottle and our wine bottle is gonna start out with smaller ellipses at the top and then they get larger at the neck then they come down and remember they definitely have to sit on the tabletop. Okay, and now we are going to make an outline of that bottle. Now we're gonna make our apple and it's gonna sit close to and overlap our wine bottle. Round and round, creating that sphere. Just made a little dent in it with a little stem. A stem is really gonna be another cylinder sitting on top of our sphere. Then we're gonna put in our cast shadows. We're gonna take our piece of paper We'll dip it in liquid or you can use a rag and we're gonna wipe out all the unnecessary lines. We are gonna start with our darks and we are gonna move towards our lights. We're gonna put a dark right in here. These are our darkest darks. It's a slightly bigger brush to do the background so you could really block it in. Getting the right consistency is all practice, so just keep on going back and forth between the paint and the liquid and putting it on your canvas. It should be very smooth and easy to coat when you put it on your canvas. Use your thinner brush. I really like the one with the edge here. That lets me go in and really get close to my edges. Let's move on to slightly lighter shades of gray. Still not light, because we're gonna put our lights in at the end. If you're struggling with this, really look at the painting that I've set out for you and try to copy it. It's really very basic and it shows you all the different values very easily. Move into our reflective lights. See how I use my brush? I go back and forth, back and forth. Really getting into all the holes in the canvas. Clean off your brush to start working in the mid-tones and the lights. So let's see, here's our four and our threes. Fours and our threes, and then we're gonna move into our highlights. The dip inside the apple is actually gonna be dark. Right in here, it's almost like a shadow happening. We're going to make a little bit of a more of a light outside of it. Now we're going to take in and we're going to do our lightest lights. I always think that the white is very, very stiff and so you need a little bit more liquid sometimes. Remember, if it gets too wet and watery, almost a watery feeling, just add some more paint to your brush. Back and forth, really filling in all the holes of the canvas. Here we are, we've blocked out our entire painting and this is already looking quite like a painting. It actually looks a lot like Mirandi's paintings. He's a very famous still life painter from the early 1900s. And right now we have something that looks quite a lot like his paintings, but we're gonna blend it out and we're gonna do some details in our next lesson. So let's get started.